Right, I'm going to demonstrate how to install Kodi for the first time. The first thing you need to do is to go on the internet and download it. So it's Kodi. Then you go to downloads, make sure it's Kodi.tv. The latest options are available here. These are the stable releases. Below are the non-stable releases, the beta versions. So you can see that's version 16. Right, so the stable version, I'm going to do, show you for Windows. We're going to use the installer file, and now we download it. Okay, that's going to take one minute. Right, now you launch the Kodi file, the exe, you install it. These options here are the add-ons and the skins. As is, is fine. This is where it's going to install it. Right. Okay, so we're going to choose Run Cody. Cody's going to launch. Yes, allow access. Now it's done. Now this is the stock version of Cody. There's an RSS feed here at the bottom. You can immediately switch that off if you like. You got appearance. And then it says show RSS news feeds that I don't really usually like to so switch it off. Okay, so now the most important thing is setting up the videos so that you can have your scrapers um, display all the movies that you want. Now that's the whole point of for me Kodi is that it gives you a cinema experience and it interfaces to the internet so that you can see the genre and the actors and so on. So I'll demonstrate the power of Kodi and the scraping function now now. Let's first get some files. Right, so I'm going to say add videos, I'm going to say browse. Now, you can either have saved your movies or series or whatever media it is that you like on your local drives or maybe on a network. So in my case, it's on a network. I have a NAS running and these are the categories of movies that I have. I've got Blu-ray, folders, documentaries, series, older movies, A to Z, series, A to L because the files are too big. So let's start, let's just do movies. Let's do um, kids, kids videos. Right, there they are. So there are all my kids videos that I have. And I'm going to say OK. So that's going to be the first video um, link that I am setting in Kodi. Now, most important here is with the scraper, set the right scraper. Is it a music video? No. Is it a TV show? No. Is it movies? Yes. Now, it the default is the movie database scraper. I can say, okay, um, I'm just going to say no for now. But what I'm going to do immediately is get another scraper. And, and it says here, get more. And I'm going to choose the universal... Uh, sorry, the um, the universal movie scraper. So I'm going to install that. It's a great scraper. It's downloading. Okay, it is now enabled. So we can configure it. The, th the things to do is make sure it gets a title from IMDb. The language, maybe you want to use USA or international. Uh, genre, IMDb, the plot, IMDb, credits, poster. I normally enable these just to improve the options. Okay, so now that's done. Now I can go back to my um, files. I'll say kids videos and I'll say edit source. I'll say okay and I'll say use the universal movie scraper. Now, this is where people get stuck. 
it says movies are in a separate are in separate folders that match the movie title now let me demonstrate to you what my movie folder actually looks like so what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly uh, bring up that screen and I'm going to log into my NAS Okay, so now I've logged into my NAS and then I'll go into where I'm storing the kids' movies. Now, if you look, if you have a look, you can see that they, each movie is in a folder. Now, you are not forced to do it this way. This is just the way that I have, over the years, been saving my uh, movies. So, say I've got Aladdin. Now, if you look there, there is the file, Aladdin 1992, and there is the folder. So... You could, if you would like to, you could just have if only the files in one folder, or you could do folder having each file. So 101 Dalmatians, there's the movie 101 Dalmatians. It's absolutely your choice. So if you're going to do it the way I have it, movies are in separate folders that match the movie title. Then you must tick that uh, checkbox. Scan recursively means it's also going to look inside of the folder. So in my case, whether I have this checked or not, it, will, it won't uh, make a difference from the way I've laid it out. So I can check both of those and I say, okay, do I want to refresh all items? Yes. Now what you're going to see is it's going to go to the internet and start adding the, um, the media and the thumbnail and the data to the movie. So for example, 101 Dalmatians, uh, no, I don't want to watch it. Um, 101 Dalmatians, there's no information here. So we will wait until, see, it's already fine ants, you see, and that's what we're going for. We want to have all the the um, artworks, and then when I click on it, it'll actually show me the, it'll actually show me the IMDB data, like the year, the rating, and the beauty of this is, by using all these categories, you can also search. So for me, the power of Kodi is the, or in the old days, HPMC, is the searching function. So now it's classified this movie, B-movie, as comedy, family, adventure, animation. So if I go back to um, movies, I can now search via genre, as long as the scraper has categorized all my movies. So I can say genre, comedy and already I have B movie chicken run and Dr. Doolittle and that is the beauty of Cody so let's let that um, finish its uh, scraping right so now you have you know how to set up your scraper and your movies will be present there you can then also set up your pictures so what you'll need to do is add pictures now you can browse and wherever you are storing your pictures so you, if it's on a net, uh, if it's on your home folder or your um, photo gallery or wherever it is, you'll just link it, and then the the Cody will then have um, the pictures for you the, over here. If you want to have music, you can add your music files. So if I choose here, I can go to my NAS again and find all my music. I have a folder just for music, as you can see. So once I add it, when I click on music, there are all my folders for my music. New music, 2011, so on. And then you can also uh, do scrapers for the music as well. It's a lot more time consuming. Then the, the programs option are is available here to add programs like one specific program that I use a lot is backup and this allows you to back up your um, all your settings all your your database for um, your current setup of Kodi so this is an important um, program which I recommend so now when you come to the programs uh, option you'll see there's the program that I've just installed called backup the next thing is the system. This is where you change all your settings, the appearance. I can quickly go through this. The most important is the settings. Um, this is the way Cody looks like. If you want to hide some things, for example, maybe you don't want to see weather. 
then you just tick it, you hide it, maybe you don't want to see programs, maybe you don't want to see pictures, you only want videos, movies and music. Then when I go back to my home screen, you can see that I now only have videos, movies and music. Moving on. The fonts, you can change the fonts, you can also change the sizing. For example, um, you can oh, okay. you can also change the sizing. For example, Arial and then no caps larger font size. So I tend to use the larger font size, so now it looks a little bit may look a little bit uh, <laughs> low res, but on a seventy inch TV, it's much better. Then your screensaver is a nice feature of Kodi because when when you leave your TV or you put on pause for a while, you don't want it to just dim, you want it to do something. So you can get um, add-ons of different options for your screensaver, or you can just go to a photo gallery. So what I do is I do the photo option. If I, I can go here and I can say, get more, and then I can say, Picture, slideshow, screensaver. Now that's a great one. So what happens is when the Cody goes to, when, when you've left it on pause, you can set the time, maybe it's three minutes. Then the preview, what it'll do is it'll go look in your photo, your photo um, folder, and it will preview the, the um, photos that you have available there. So in this case, because it couldn't find my photo album, it's just doing the artwork of the movies that I have. Now that would be Brave, that's a movie Brave. Um, so you can set it up the way you want in terms of what media you want to display as your screensaver. This is a great thing if you've got a photo gallery of your family or your kids and so on, then it will display that. You can also say where it must look. Um, you can also set the dim level. Maybe you don't want it so bright. The pan and zoom, how it must uh, must be, crossfade, slide, like your PowerPoint settings. How much time you want it to, to display the image. I usually set it to four or five seconds, fine. And then the source of the slideshow. Let's say image folder. And then that's where you go and tell it to go and find your, your own photo gallery. Then you don't have to use the artwork of the movies and so on. All right, moving on. Some more settings. Set this to advanced experts, fine. The video. All right, some things that are important here are display four to three videos as normal. Now, if you're looking at any older content, maybe you're watching Frasier or some Seinfeld or some of that, then you might want to use the stretch function. Otherwise, you're going to have the black bars on the side. Um, playback, then um, what else are we looking for here? Activate teletext. Okay, we don't need that. Um, preferred audio stream. You don't really need to change anything here unless something doesn't work. Okay, the library is quite important. Another setting I often change is, do you want your uh, Cody to start checking if any new content was added? Maybe you added some movies on your hard drive. Then do you want to manually uh, update the um, Cody database or do you want to do it automatically? So if you want to do it automatically, you need to check this box to say, update library on starter. Hiding the progress just means it'll hide this tab away here that's showing you that it's updating. Then there are some other settings which are useful. The system settings, the video output, the display mode. If you, if you don't like it as a full screen and you want to see your Windows settings, like windowed so that will be windowed now you can adjust it and it's within a window all the time personally i hate that but then it allows you to minimize and maximize easily so that is up to you so that's what windowed means um full screen i like full screen then we've got um some video settings here audio output this really depends on your setup. It depends on what your graphics card, if you maybe you're getting your audio through your HDMI, you'll have to play around with this, as well as the audio 
settings on your um, Windows software. Another thing I use is the master lock. I like to lock Kodi so that nobody changes the settings. So you can add a code here, you can master lock, you can add a code, your numeric keypad, say you want a code of whatever, 25, done. Then you're going to have to put in that password every time you go to settings. And then you can choose what function, what uh, tabs you want to be locked. So for me, I really just lock down the settings so that kids don't make changes there. But you can also lock down pictures, the videos, the music, which is quite nice because it gives some parental control. Right, and then um, that's all I'm going to show for now. Uh, that's enough to get your Kodi up and running. Uh, this is really good software. If you don't like this uh, layout here, you can also change that. That will also be in the uh, system settings. Um, remember to donate to Kodi guys and girls. Uh, I think it's $50 just for their work and your use of the software.